Hey guys, oh my gosh, I'm still shaking. This is, this was so scary what just now happened. Hey guys, oh my gosh, I'm still shaking. This is, this was so scary what just now happened, like, I just have to like process it and just talk with you guys like oh, okay guys if you're new here welcome to my channel oh I just experienced something really scary I nearly lost I could have lost love today this was so disturbing so disturbing but luckily God protected him God protected you I don't want to lose you ow <laughs> just bear with me I don't want to lose you okay so this is what happened like went out to free flying today and I didn't want to film like there's many times where I don't want to film I have no makeup on right now I'm just like have no merch on nothing just wanted to go in the park I worked all day just wanted to go in the park and fly hope and love hope is back there you guys can see him and put them in the harness luckily I have both of them in the harness I take always hope and love out to the park and i didn't roll the camera it was just like let hope fly let him come back and then we go home and we have dinner that's it that was my plan and hope and um love was on my shoulders and i got hope out of the car he was still in his harness with his neck um and i saw there was a dog in the park like a german shepherd and i was like oh no he's running around playing fetch of course this park is like on leash only but those people didn't put them in a leash so i walk up to the park entrance to ask them to put the dog on the leash and all of a sudden we didn't even came to the entrance and both of them were in a harness love and hope were both in the harness we came right at the entrance gate of the park and hope freaked out and screamed like he saw a hawk or something scare him and spook him when hope freaked out love freaks out and both of them boof they started flying but they were on the leash they were on their harness so love managed to fly over the fence and he here's the fence i was here here's the fence here's the park i'm here outside he flew over the fence with the leash and he got on the stuck on the fence on the other side still on the leash and i saw this big german shepherd running towards love and he's just grabbing on the fence and i'm on this side i couldn't do anything the fence was really high and i was screaming i didn't film this because i didn't expect something like this to happen and i thought oh my gosh my bird is gonna get mauled right now in front of my eyes in the park by a dog and I was screaming and they said, put your dog in the leash. And they were like, oh, he is on the leash. I said, and hold him, hold him. And there was, there was this girl and the guy and they were trying to catch the dog and the dog was running around. I'm so glad, like God pro totally protected love. They caught the dog. Um, but love, when he was holding on the other side of the leash, he took off and he came back and the court bungee and I caught him back. So he was back from the other side of the fence back into my hands. And oh my gosh, I was just like shaking at this point. I was like, holy, <laughs> I just, God just saved my bird. Wow, this was so scary, right love? And love freaks out when he, when hope freaks out, love freaks out, you know? And then both of them freaks out. And then I freaked out because like, I'm actually really calm. I always am very level headed. And, but this situation was beyond my control. Like I should have like hold his leash, like closer like this so he couldn't fly away. But I didn't thought like he's gonna like fly over the fence and get stuck on the fence on the other side where the dog was and I was on this side and the entrance was so far away. The only way was to like take this off, run around and grab him or just stand there and like and then if he flew away and I wouldn't have this leash on, he would be flying off on a tree or somewhere and i don't have a gps on him because i don't fly him in the park because he will sit on trees and i don't want him to be sitting on trees but i'm so glad that i got love back and nothing happened to him not a feather has been harmed oh my gosh i'm still shaking this was 
really scary. I love you, love. I don't. I don't want to lose him. I love him so much. He's not only just my baby, but he's also my soulmate. He, love, hope, everyone, everybody is so precious and so valuable. And this was a really scary incident. Very scary. Baby, you cannot just fly over the fence, huh? You have to stay with mommy so I can protect you. How can I protect you if you fly away, huh? But this is like, this dog had such a high prey drive. This dog just wanted to like, you know, get my bird. And, you know, I joke also about it. And I told him, wow, your dog have a high prey drive. They're like, yeah, they totally confirm it. Um, and I, we had, back in the days, we had a German Shepherd. I know how they are. They have a high prey drive. German Shepherd are killer dogs. They're good watch dogs, but they're also killer dogs. And, you know, I wasn't, I didn't want to fly hope there with a dog running around, especially a German Shepherd. That's the reason why I was walking up, asking them to put the dog on the leash. They were very decent people. They would have done it. And then I would have fly hope. And then for like, you know, five minutes, 10 minutes, and then we'll just go home. But Oh my gosh, this was scary. So scary. So this is what happened. Roll the clip. I'm gonna hold him, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Oh, I was freaked out. This is a twenty thousand dollar bird. Mm -hmm. I was so afraid he would grab it and bite it and kill it. Oh no. Oh my god. My heart. It's okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Thanks. Oh. What kind of bird are those? The uh, macaws. Yeah, he's a blue macaw. Blue macaw? Blue macaw. Very, very rare. Blue macaw. Uh, yeah. And he's fly trained. Hey, no. Let him know. You're holding him, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, go fly. Go fly. Go. He comes back to you like you let me Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably has a high prey drive. Yes, he does. His prey drive is insane. Wow, I see that. And I think it's like he sees so many colors. He's like, what is that? Yeah. Yeah, my bird was freaking out, and then, oh my gosh, I'm so afraid that he would have caught my birds. Whew, good thing that you catch him. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Do you do you train them or like how, how do they know like to come back? Yeah, I train them. It's like you know like dolphin training. Like you train dolphins to do tricks. I train <coughs> my birds to fly and come back. It's all about <coughs> grounding and positive reinforcement. No. Stop love. How do you do positive reinforcement with food? <laughs> Um, a trick uh, like positive, yeah, with their favorite treats, yeah, yeah, and then I, um, you know, they're never stuffed, they're never hungry, they just like, like, they have favorite treats, and then it's easy to work with them with favorite treats. But it's also a lot of bonding, and I have them since babies, so older birds are harder to train than, than uh, he's four and he's two, yeah. But they were born here. Good boy. Wow, I'm still kind of cooling down. Yeah, no, that, that's definitely scary. That was, but luckily you guys had a good reaction. 
Oh, I was like crazy. You hear the wild parrots over there? Yeah, we always hear them. We live like not so far and they're always like around. Yeah. Yeah, but they, they are now possessing the sky so he doesn't want to fly. See the wild parrots? Puppy, you want to go fly with the wild parrots? Oh, oh. Where are they? They're drama queens. Daddy, oh! oh, go, 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 go. One, two, three. Go fly with them. Go. One, two, three. Go fly. So after the incident, I flew, they they hold their dog. She was so sweet. She's just so in awe about my birds. Wanted to make pictures at the end. So she makes some pictures of us. Mm. She was really, really sweet. And it's not their fault that they dog have a high prey drive, you know? And it, it was nobody's fault, actually. Like, you know, it was just like circumstances that you couldn't have seen before, unseen circumstances that just happened. Cause I'm very careful with my birds. I don't want to fly my birds in the park when they're like dogs off leash because I learned from my mistakes. And I don't want to do dog drama anymore because we learn also from our mistakes, right? I just want to be happy with my birds and fly them and see how happy is Hope. And Hope, like he doesn't fly anymore far. He doesn't take off two, three hours anymore. He just fly three, four rounds and he's good and then he wants to come home. Right? And then we go home and we have dinner. So that's it. Like, all what I can say is God totally protected love today. He totally protected him. Like, I saw, like, how birds get mauled in parks through tree flying. It's, it's not a joke. It's really something, like, real. It happens. And it happens all the time. Birds get mauled. Dogs are predators. And this is really, really, really a real issue with free flying birds if you fly them in the park. I'm gonna go and fly them again out in the dry desert, in the dry lake. But that's always like a three hour road trip, three, four hours. But um, kind of like, it's kind of always like half of a day. And then once I get home, I'm so tired. And, from driving and everything that I can't do anything anymore, any, anything else. So this free flying is really hard work, hard work. It's a lifestyle, but out of the love of my birds, I do it for them. Okay guys, that's it. That was my disturbing video I wanted to tell you about. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think, comment below. Um, I just praise the Lord right now that I still have my babies, that I have love. I love you, Lord. <laughs>